coming years, it's going to get stricter and the other equipment will have to be upgraded too. From the build at the factory, they made sure it was going to work. When you talk to customers, they expect quality from Caterpillar. I handle the industrial engine sales for Morbark, who is a, an OEM based in Michigan, which is my territory. Uh, Morbark was lucky enough to be given uh, the opportunity to bid the 3800 Woodhog to the city of Lompoc. They were awarded the bid and uh, Michigan Cat supplied the engine for them and helped engineer the package. Monthly we get about anywhere between five to 800 uh, tons of the wood and green. Uh, it'll be working all day. Well, you have two requirements on this operation. You have a horsepower requirement, which is needed to, to run the grinder itself, and then you have an emissions requirement to meet the, the regulatory guidelines. And by using this power plant, we're able to satisfy both. Michigan Cat and Morbark have a long-standing relationship. We've, we've partnered together for probably close to 25 years. We're up there on a weekly basis. We visit their customers, we learn about their products, and we try to, to make them as, as successful as we can help them be. When they uh, married the engine to our grinder, they were very involved in that process up at the factory, making sure their power unit worked well with our machine. Because they had been a lot of research ahead of time and a lot of work from Caterpillar years ago. So when it came time to bring this to market, it was already proven. Our, our goal with Tier 4 and what Caterpillar's goal was, was to make the operation of these engines as seamless as we can possibly make them. These customers are used to having very little interaction with the engine in terms of while it's running. And speaking with the operator here, he was waiting for it to regen. And they've run it for several hundred hours and they weren't aware that it's doing its job already. I think that's real important that they're not having to stop and shut down in order for the machine to do what it's supposed to do. It's running and it's doing its job and allows them to do what they need to get done. They said where the regen would be like on our other vehicles, it's 15 minutes for it to regen. At first we were going, well, depending on what time of the day, you know, it was going to start the regen, you know, is it going to mess up the operation? And we found out this morning that that thing had already done a few regens that we weren't even aware of. So they didn't even notice it when it was doing it dependability. We go over there and start it and it runs. Productivity is like I said, I mean this thing's doing like three times the amount of what we used to do. It gives me more time for my employees to actually do something else. They're, they're real happy with the fuel usage in this operation. They're seeing significant savings compared to the equipment that this machine replaced and they're very pleased with it. And it also goes back to the network in the field that the customers are able to get the service and support from them as well. There's other manufacturers, but the preference is to go with the Caterpillar power units. There's a lot of traffic here. The material builds up quickly. They needed a more efficient machine, something that could keep up with the production. Um, 3800 is, is what has worked for them. It has no value unless it's working. They have requirements, they have to grind, they have amounts that they have to keep in line to meet their permitting process. So they have to, they have to grind. Now that we got the, the more bark, I mean, one person to operate it, we don't even really grind every day now. I'm happy with it, very happy.